This week we've been capturing uh, different artifacts and structures of the USS Arizona and the USS Utah and uh, generating 3D models. What I'm using is photogrammetry and that's just taking a camera and I take a series of photos in a certain way around an object and the computer is able to determine where at in space the cameras are located and generate 3D geometry. I'm trying to capture something in 3D. Um, I'm doing just like any other photographer would do, try and frame the shot. I have to have multiple shots of an area to be able uh, to solve for 3D and just kind of go around and around and around. The more photos, the better. Some of the challenges we run into underwater, first of all, is you know, you've got distortion with the water. You've got bubbles, you've got all kinds of different things uh, that, that can affect the photos that you don't have above land. We've had some great success in capturing some models, uh, Coke bottles, cooking pots, hatches, uh, stairs. The value is I can show somebody a photograph of an artifact under the water, but inevitably they want to see what's on the other side, they want to see it from a different view. Um, you can do that in a 3D digital model. Um, or if you 3D print it, somebody can actually hold something in their hand. While we do this pro bono, we're getting something out of it as well. The learning of, of the limits of our software or how we can better it. So I first got involved in this project just a little over a year ago. I have a real emotional uh, connection to these ships in Pearl Harbor. I want to document them and uh, help further the effort, effort to educate people about what happened here. It's become a real personal thing of mine. It gives me goosebumps just to even be able to, to say that I took part in this. It's not one of those things you brag about and go tell everybody on Facebook, hey, guess what I'm doing? This is one of those things that inside you, you, you feel really good.